my dear friend Isa makes some of the best damn peanut butter and jelly sandwiches ever. They're not for sale or anything like that, but her little heart was broken when my buddies Danny and Vlad were offered them. She made them for them and then neglected to eat them. Isa, this one's for you, sweetheart. After this bottom tube goes in, we're gonna do this tube from there to this rear mount. Same as that side, and then we're gonna run the angle tube from this mount up to the top of the cage up there. So I have one that comes up right here. Oh, that's cool. To there. It'll mimic that other one. Those bends are just simply beautiful. They certainly weren't lying. They said the moment that subframe is in, The tubing was gonna go really quick, and it has. Look at how beautiful this is. Even with just subtle bends, it makes the whole thing look like just a piece of art beyond all the billet arms. It, this is just my dream come true. I've been obsessing about the vision of this, and when you work with the right people, they take what you've got and make it even better. And there are things that I couldn't have even imagined to see happen on this car that are happening. Look at the rear crash bars for the bumper. There's a whole bunch of space for exhaust pipes, for resonators, for mufflers, to really kind of calm the beast down unless it goes through the exhaust cutout and shoots flames straight up back. So we got a lot of options here, but this is just excellent, tight, small, packaged, and ready to rock and roll for the next step. Got your rack back into place. Oh yeah. Yes, if you turn, I think if you turn the clamp and that bolt went straight down, it opened up that much more space. Straight down, which side? This, uh, this clamp went to that end and you turn it the other way so the bolt went down, you'd get it totally away from that cover. Oh, wow. Ain't that uh, kind of... Now we'd be back to the function we wanted to get to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Making it a, a car. I don't know. I do? No, no. That feels good. This is just beautiful. I, like I've been saying for the last, well, what, several years, this has been the vision that I've had inside of my head and these guys have exemplified it. They took all the things that I absolutely would not settle on, they took those and embraced them and then made them even better. So I've got the dream car I've wanted, I've got weight even closer to the very center, even room for the gas tank in the center, low down in the vehicle. Everything is between the wheels. This is just a monster. So when I said all these claims and, and possibilities of the goals of what I wanted with this car, you know I'm not fucking around.
suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desire set my heart afire One of the best design changes that came from their experience was the fact that the vehicle stops at the very back of the subframe, that that is all structurally a car with a little ass end on it. Those four pipes that go to that crash bar in the back are replaceable that, you know, all have exhaust pipes, obviously stuff that can get damaged back there, but the car stops here. If I get squirrely, I mean, let's be honest, A, I'm not the best driver, and B, this is a vehicle that's never existed, and C, it's gonna be doing stuff that uh, nobody's done before. So if I was to ass pack this car, I've got a crumple zone of RX-7, Sano Engineering Industries, and then of course, vital organs, and then furthermore, my, my, my vital organs, but they're all being concentrated inside of this beautiful cage. Ultimately, there's gonna be a door bar kind of Xing from this point down and this point down. And of course, structural rigidity is just very clear there, but that is why that line goes up. It's gonna kind of curve down and then mate to there. So it'll be nice, tight, low. I'm gonna have to do something about the doors themselves. Obviously, I want stock FD doors. Uh, I'm not compromising on that, at least for this phase of the car. As well, you've got this cross member, the rear cross member, You've got a nice little teepee of protecting Rob Dom's cranium, and that I couldn't ask for more. You can see that the drivetrain from here to where the front diff is, hidden behind those exhaust pipes, is very linear. So all of this extra work, shifting the motor over, doing all this other craziness, really puts everything in line and makes it what it was supposed to be. That exhaust manifold there, of course, massively changes. That's not gonna be anything like it is now, but that's perfectly fine. That one wasn't in the lineup at the time, because I've sat at Sparco's headquarters and went to all their seats. Oh, that one's right But it's already night and day. Put it this way, it actually touches this tube now. Well, look, it doesn't touch the body. No. The other one sits on top. No, no, that <coughs> seat is night and day better. Yeah, try it. Okay. I still have the cushion underneath me. Yeah, you're not all clapped out crooked. Yeah. And plus when we lower those tubes too, we can lean you back a little. Yeah. Because you need to go back a little, which helps your head. Yep. And then and we go down more and comfort back. for me. Mm -hmm. Now that the seat clearly works better than mine. And uh, can you open the door? Or here, you want to try to hand it? I'll hand it. See tons of interior room. That's pretty damn wide. Well, shit, I guess it does fit. Once we get the tube out of the way, I think we would be okay. Yeah. I think we can make this work just like your other side. That'd be fucking sweet if we could. Yeah. That transfer case really does like kind of, in a way, screw the whole thing. Mm hmm Because it is so big right here, we can't cheat you guys together, you know? Right, right. If it was just the tranny, we could totally eat all this distance up. It's still impressive that we've gotten this far with this oh, yeah. addition in an RX-7. You see, like right there, I'm in, like once I get the tube down, like, I'm in the car. They had it going between the intake and the header, so I would have tore the intake off of it. And ripped my fuel injectors. Yeah, and, and now those headers are thick. The header will take, it won't get, yeah, you won't get fire from that. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, so it'll, it'll actually kind of protect it from going up. I'd rather replace the header than rip the intake and all that off. Oh my god, yeah.